Hello everybody, JP from JP's Aviation here, and welcome back to another video. On the 5th of January, 2022, Boeing and Allegiant Airlines would announce an order that shook the aviation industry, including Boeing's main rival, Airbus. The order, originally broken a day before, isn't that remarkable on the surface. It's for 50 Boeing 737 MAXs. 30 for the 737 MAX 7, the smallest variant, and 20 for the 737 MAX 200, which is popular with other ultra-low-cost carriers. The order has 50 options, and deliveries will start in 2023. However, it's when you start to look at the order, how confusing it really is. So before we see why the airline would take such a dramatic shift in its strategy, we need to see what the strategy was in the first place and how Allegiant has historically went about obtaining aircraft for their fleet. Those familiar with the airline will know that the airline loves to buy used aircraft, only ordering direct from the manufacturer one other time. The airline would acquire used MD-80s from airlines like SAS. These aircraft were a part of 86 MD-80s that would eventually join the fleet. However, a few years ago, Allegiant would come under fire because of safety concerns with their older MD-80 fleet. In 2018, all MD-80 family aircraft would be retired and replaced with the Airbus A320 family, the A319-100 and the A320-200. Of course, these were older used Airbus aircraft from other airlines all over the world. Allegiant can get these aircraft at a fraction of the cost of new aircraft. This would save the airline money and keep costs low for the consumer. So the airline's whole fleet strategy was to buy used aircraft and keep an all Airbus fleet. This would help keep costs low. And using a one manufacturer fleet is actually much more common than buying all used aircraft. Airlines like Southwest operate an all Boeing fleet and airlines like Indigo operate an all Airbus fleet. Both of them are ultra low cost carriers or low cost carriers. There was at least some contest between the Boeing 737 MAX and the Airbus A220. So we can see that the airline is more focused on replacing the smaller A319. So why not Airbus? Well first of all, it's a perfect time to swap manufacturer as the A220 isn't a part of the A320 family, so there would still be a higher cost for crew training and adjustments for a new aircraft entering the fleet. This brings up the question, why not the A320neo family? Well, the NEO has been seeing a boom in orders recently, especially to previous Boeing customers over the past few months, and Airbus isn't in a desperate situation like Boeing is right now. Why not the A319neo? It's supposed to be the perfect aircraft to replace the A319. Well, it's proven to be very unpopular with airlines, especially with the A220 entering Airbus's portfolio, as the A220 is a better aircraft overall than the A319neo is. Investors weren't happy with this order. Allegiant shares fell 8% after the announcements. And as we can see from the previous segment of the video, this basically goes against their whole fleet strategy. The investors are concerned that adding a new family of aircraft to the fleet will drive up operating costs, which is true. Crew and other personnel will need to be trained on the new 737 Maxes entering the fleet. Allegiant, however, doesn't see the airline being able to sustain an entirely used fleet as the cost of maintenance is much higher with used aircraft that are no longer in production. The airline also cites that the Maxes use about 20% less fuel than the A320neo family that they have right now, meaning more profits for the airline. The post-COVID surge in air travel has especially helped Allegiant. The airline is hoping for 250 more aircraft by the end of the decade, along with 400 total routes. The MAX can help the airline achieve this, but with only 50 firm orders, the activation for the 50 options is almost certain alongside with other orders. And it's almost certain that there will be more used A320s and A319s coming into the fleet to help them achieve this. So let me know what you think about the Allegiant 737 MAX order. Obviously Allegiant has had some safety concerns in the past as well as the MAX, so that's very interesting. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm JP from JP's Aviation, and I'll see you all next time right here on JP's Aviation. Goodbye.